Welcome back to P2. Today we're looking at dividing polynomials, unit 1.2. So first, what's a polynomial? Well, it's an expression with whole number indices, basically. You know, things like uh, a quadratic, um, sorry, and positive whole number indices. So like a quadratic, to the power of two, you know, um, a cubic, a quartic, and so on. These are all polynomials. And here are three examples. So polynomials, they have to have essentially this positive powers. So things that are fractional powers, like a square root of something, a cube root of something, uh, things where the x is on the bottom so it'll end up with a negative power these things are not polynomials okay so it's just important just to kind of understand the difference the ones that we tend to deal with are going to be quadratics and cubics mainly cubics and we will divide them to leave us a quadratic so these are the kind of things that we'll be looking at and the way we divide them is that we use long division. So here we're going to look at dividing a cubic by a linear term. So if I divide the cubic by this linear term it should give me a quadratic. So I set it up like a division okay and my first step is to take my first term and I divide by this x. So I'm doing x cubed divided by x and that will give me x squared. Now, I'll always put the x squared then above the other x squareds. I think it's just a better way of doing it. Now, the next step then is to take this x squared and multiply it by both of these terms. So x squared times x is x cubed. And x squared times negative 3 is negative 3x squared. Now, just like with a normal long division, we then need to subtract these essentially to find the remainder. That's what we're doing. So what we're doing is we're doing x cubed minus x cubed and 2x squared minus negative 3x squared. Now, I actually do it slightly differently in that I change the sign of these and then I add them just because I find that quicker and easier. So that's going to give me 0 and 5x squared. I then bring the next term down ready. And then I start the same now. So I take the 5x squared and I divide by this x. And that's going to give me 5x. And then I take 5x multiplied by x. 5x squared and 5x multiplied by negative 3, negative 15x, okay? And when you're doing this, these will always cancel out. So it's this line, take away this line, or as I said previously, change the sign and add. So we get 0 for the 5x, take away 5x, and negative 17x plus my 15x there, so we've got negative 2x. Bring down my final plus 6, and then minus 2x divided by x is minus 2. Minus 2 times x, minus 2x. Minus 2 times minus 3 is plus 6. And then as I, know, as I normally do is I change the signs and I add. And this then leaves me with 0 at the end. Now when I'm left with 0 at the end that means 0 remainder. And that's me done. So dividing this cubic by this linear will give me this quadratic. And it's worth also noting, um, I'll write this one in blue, but then that also means that if I think of this cubic, it's going to be the same as x minus 3 
multiplied by the x squared plus 5x minus 2. Okay, and what that means is then that this is a way of factorising this. You know, if I get to this point, it doesn't in this particular case, but then I might be able to factorise this quadratic and end up with three brackets. Okay, so this long division, this dividing, is very useful for that. So, for this one, we're going to do another example, dividing this quartic by this linear term, 2x plus 1. So first I want to set this up. Now, when I'm setting this up, very much like if you're doing a long division, you know, if you've got, say, like a number like 4096, if you've got that number, that zero is quite important, isn't it? Because of the place value. And it's very much the same with these. So when I'm setting this up, so 4x to the power 4 plus, now I need to put 0x cubed because I need to keep the place value. Minus 17x squared plus 0x plus 4. So it's very important that I keep that place value. And then from here, it's just a straightforward um, long division, just like before. So start off with my 4x to the power 4 divided by 2x. That's going to give me 2 x cubed and I'm putting that above the x cubed and then we're multiplying 2x cubed times 2x is going to be 4x to the power 4 2x cubed times 1 is going to give me 2x cubed and you can see why it's important now if I didn't put that 0x cubed in here I'd end up with this squared above this cubed and it just wouldn't make any logical sense. Now, as I've said in the last part, you know, I like to change the sign and add. I find it quicker and easier when I'm doing this in like an exam situation because I'm not worrying about subtracting a negative and making little silly errors with my signs. Okay, I just find it a lot clearer. So here we've got now minus 2 cubed. And again now, minus 2 cubed divided by 2x is going to give me minus x squared. And you know you're right, because when you multiply it back, it should always end up being the same. Now, before I do, I actually forgot to bring this down, so I'll bring it down now. So minus x squared times 2x is minus 2x cubed minus x squared times 1 is minus x squared and then I'm going to change the signs and add so that gives me obviously 0 and then minus 17 plus 1 is minus 16 x squared so let's bring down the 0 x now Minus 16x squared divided by 2x is going to give me minus 8x. And then multiplying, minus 8x times 2x is minus 16x squared. And multiplying by the 1 gives me minus 8x. And then I'm going to change the sign and I'm going to add... And that then gives me 8x. Bring down my 4. And then we've got 8x divided by 2x is going to be 4. 4 times 2x is 8x. And 4 times 1 is 4. And then finally I'm going to change the signs and add. And I get 0 remainder. I'm sure you're wondering ooh, what happens when I get a remainder. Well, I'll just put up one in a second with a remainder. Okay, so what I've done here is I've just taken the last question. I've changed that last number from a 4 to a 2. So it's a 2 here. And then you can see then that everything else is the same as the last question. But we've got this 2 take away 4, giving me minus 2 as a remainder.
okay so if I get a remainder what I'm essentially saying is that if we take this and divide by this we're left with this plus a remainder so if I take my 4x to the power of 4 minus 17x squared plus 2 and I divide by this 2x plus 1 what I get is my 2x cubed minus x squared minus 8x plus 4 which is what has come from the top here minus 2 which is my remainder and it's over this 2x plus 1 like so so that's how my remainder would look uh, again very much like if you did it numerically so if I pick one numerically you know I don't know say 7 divided by 500 we go 7 into 5 goes 0 carry the 5 7 into 50 7 times carry the 1 7 goes into 10 once remainder 3 and this is then 71 and 3 sevenths and you can check that out in your calculator but that's how the division or long division works hopefully that's uh, helped you out there um might have given you just a little bit extra with the remainder stuff i don't know if you actually need it yet but it's will worth knowing i'll give you a few to try and as always i'll put the answers at the end of the video